Hey, I'm Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Stick around and let's take a quick look at the O1 XDM 1041 digital multimeter. Okay, guys. In this video, I want to take a quick look at a product I just bought um, recently. This was not sent to me for review. I actually purchased this with my own funds. This is a O1 XDM 1041 digital multimeter. Um, as you can see, it predominantly displays that it has 55,000 counts. Um, it looked like a good deal online, and I'll post the info in the doodly doo down below. I got this off of Amazon. Um, you can get this same meter for probably some less less cash if you bought it from AliExpress or Banggood. Um, one of those sites, but then you have to wait six, eight weeks for shipping and so on and so forth. So I just went ahead and picked it up from Amazon. Um, let me plug this in. This is an awkward thing because the uh, power supply is on the back. Um, so, <laughs> and the camera is overhead. So this makes this a little awkward. I guess let me, let me talk about what it's got before we turn it on and take a look at it. So this is a series of multimeters that O1 produces. This particular one, of course, has AC and DC voltage measurements, as you can see. It does um, microamp and milliamp current measurement, uh, and it also does AC current measurement up to 10 amps, which is excellent. It will save your measurements so that you can um, take some measurements and it will just capture them and save them off. You can go back and review your measurements later, which is pretty cool. This isn't really a review so much as just a quick uh, show and tell of this thing. The, um, the measurement limits, it has protection circuitry in. Um, DC limit is 1000 volts DC or 750 volts AC, which is well beyond anything that we're gonna, we're gonna ever mess with as amateur radio operators most likely. Uh, 10 amps I mentioned for AC and uh, it will measure up to 600 milliamps uh, or microamps DC or AC. The uh, safety rating on it is uh, up to 1000 volts cat 1 and up to 600 volts uh, category 2 protection. Um, it's an interesting little device. Let me disconnect these real quick. So these are the these are the foot holder thingies for it. And it took me a hot second to figure these out. They literally are just rubber, like so. And when they're in the non-deployed position, they look like that. And you just pop them loose so that that little nubbin is not in the channel. And then um, you can stand it up and it actually gives you a very nice tilt um, if you're sitting at a bench to read this to read this meter. So that's pretty cool. The meter also, it runs on um, 120 volt AC, which I think is kind of a downside. I really wish this was a lower power input, but um, there it is. It also has USB and this meter um, will follow the standard for interfacing test equipment. So there's a number of programs you can use to talk to the meter and manage your data inputs and outputs from the meter um, and save off your inputs like into a spreadsheet file or so on and so forth. So that's fairly cool. Um, and that makes it, that's a nice feature in a meter of this price point. Um, of course it's LCD, AC DC voltage, AC DC current. It does measure resistance continuity and diodes similar to any other meter. It will measure capacitance, frequency, and period measurements. This is a little unusual. It is a frequency counter, or you can change it to read time, period. So nanoseconds versus hertz or kilohertz or megahertz, so on and so forth. And I, I don't know the range of that off the top of my head. It will also do uh, temperature measurements. The uh, run stop gives us an auto trigger function. Uh, when the trigger stopped, whatever data is displayed will be held. Otherwise, it's in run mode where it's constantly updating the screen kind of thing. It'll record um, data if you have the USB cable connected and you set it into record mode, which is a fairly advanced 
function, and I'm not going to cover in this video. Um, it does some math operations, max, min, dB, and dBm um, measurement results. And then uh, it has a somewhat of a dual display. You can have the function list on the right side, and the function will be, the reading will be displayed on the separate display on the other side of the display. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't messed with that. Um, some of these models actually have a serial port. This is a USB port, which is also serial, but a USB interface. And that is, a, it's that connector. Uh, that's a B connector, USB B. A is the flat standard size used for USB 1, 2, and 3. And then, of course, there's USB-C, which is the little small ones. Um, these are also called print, USB printer connectors, that kind of thing, or host connectors. I've heard them mentioned, too. Um, other than that, I mean, most of it's just looking at the shiny interface and then talking about how to make measurements and how to do the data record. So what I wanted to do real quick was fire this thing up. So let's get it, um, let's get it plugged in. And again, this is going to be a little awkward. But for this quick video, this shouldn't be too bad. The probes that come with it are nice. These are, these are, and you can't really tell, but these are some solid probes. I mean, these feel sturdy. Um, we're just going to do some quick voltage measurements here. So I'll plug it in like that. And then I have my lab or bench power supply over there. So we're going to plug him up. It also comes with, um, besides coming with the probes, it also came with a uh, set of adapters that included uh, alligator clips that go over the end of the probes so I can have alligator clips on, on the meter probes instead of a point, right? So <clears throat> let's, um, let me get this where I, I have to hold this. There's no, there's no easy way to do this. So let's turn on our power supply. And so it does auto range. You can also fix the range. I have it on auto 50 volt. Um, I can just come down here and tell it auto and it automatically picked the voltage. And as I adjust the voltage on the power supply, of course, it's gonna adjust the voltage on the, on the meter. And, and what I really wanted to show here was the display on this thing is just, uh, really awesome. And then so as you want to modify whatever you're testing, let me cut this off. You know, you just hit the button on the side and that will change your menu with uh, all your separate options for that specific menu. Right? And then here, resistance. Um, and then our diode and our continuity functions. And it says down there on the bottom, continuity. So let's DC that from the multimeter. And I know you can hear that, that has to be loud, right? And then, so here's our capacitance. It's in the nanofarad range. We can change the range here. I can auto it. I can go to those specific ranges from uh, microfarads, or actually, excuse me, from nanofarads all the way up to um, millifarads, so that's excellent. Um, can just obviously leave it in auto range. There we go, gotta actually push it. So if I hook our voltmeter back up, I mean our power supply back up, and turn that guy on, so we can, we can record and start saving data. I can hit auto and you'll see uh, every so many seconds, however I set that interval, it will record our values, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so I believe it was set for every, every one second and I will just adjust the voltage on the power supply. I don't have something set up right there. No demo. Oh, there we go. It just hadn't updated. So there is our measurements. And, and again, you can, how many points of data I want to grab and what my interval is and tell it to start and stop. And of course your 
voltage settings would be how that decides what to do. So anyway, and there's our dual screen function. I think this is dependent on what mode we're in. I don't really know on that one. I haven't tinkered with that yet. But the whole point of this today was just to show you this. This is an excellent meter. Um, it's small. You know, this is not very big. It's about, what, eight inches, eight inches long by about two and a half, three inches, about two, two inches deep. And um, the base is just a little wider. And it runs on standard 120 plug, nothing fancy. So this is a great addition to your bench because um, this takes up so little room. So you can park this on top of, park this on top of your, um, one of your other um, instruments, you know, on top of your oscilloscope or your spectrum analyzer or whatever, um, or find a little niche to put it in. So that's pretty swank. And I, I did not have a meter like this. I have a couple of handheld meters and you've seen them before on the channel, but this is pretty neat. So guys, that's all I've got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. I will put information about the meter in the description below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you would and, uh, and like the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell because you'll get notified whenever I post any new content. 73 guys.